Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summer Time. Every Friday, I'm making a video about curly hair. Curly Fridays. So in this video, I wanna show you all of my essentials for curly hair and you can get all of these on Amazon. You could also call it an Amazon Essentials video. I've been seeing a lot of those around and I really just wanted to make a curly hair edition one. I think they're so fun, especially because I'm on Amazon all the time. I hate to admit it because I love to shop small, but sometimes I leave things to the last minute and I just really need that next day delivery. I need to get more organized so that I can shop at these small businesses more often, but like until then, Amazon is really helping me out a lot. If you are just starting out on your curly hair journey and you just wanna know where to start Start. You could even call this a starter kit. So everything here is just so essential to me I really try to focus on things that I actually use all the time and hopefully I can just add a few new things to the mix That maybe you haven't seen before I realize I don't use any of the same stuff that I used to use when I had straight hair Not the same brushes combs anything. So it's really a whole different bag but with all that being said Let's get into the curly hair essentials. Okay, let's start with combs and brushes the very first brush in my collection of essential brushes and combs is the detangling brush. So this is the wet detangler from Tangle Teaser. They also have the really small ones, right? Like I used to use those really small ones. I still do every now and then, but lately, I say lately, for like the past two years at least, I've been using this exclusively. The pegs are starting to bend and stuff and I actually have newer ones. I just don't know where it is. So I ended up going back to the old one. Yeah, this has served me for a really long time. I see some people like to use the wet brushes for detangling. But I just love my Tangle Teaser so much that I've just never really been tempted to try out the wet brushes. If anyone watching this has tried tangle teasers and wet brushes, let me know in the comment section. Let me know which one you prefer and I'll see if maybe I want to switch. But at the moment, I just absolutely love my tangle teasers. And it just makes so much sense being a wet detangler because as a curly girl, I only detangle my hair when it's wet anyway, like wet with conditioner on it and everything. So this has just been perfect. The next brush needs no introduction. It's probably the most famous brush on the internet at this point. This is my Denman brush. It's a D3. Denman brush to be specific. You can't even tell that it's a Denman brush because it's all rubbed off, but I promise you. Oh, they're made in the UK. I had no idea. Okay, the first thing you should know about the Denman brush is this is a styling brush. This is not meant to be a detangling brush. So I absolutely love this for styling, but I hate it for detangling. This red part right here is kind of spongy and rubbery and it just does not glide on your hair well. This will grip to your hair. It will feel really rough going through your hair. And if it feels rough, the chances are it is is rough. As a styling brush, it's phenomenal. It's changed the game. There's a reason why it's so popular and so famous. This is great for defining your curls. At the end of your wash and go, once you've got your leave-in conditioner in, just run your Denman brush through your hair a few times and you will have the best curly hair result of your life. It'll be so, so defined. But saying that, if you had to choose one brush, I would choose this one because you can get pretty good definition with this as well, just by using the same kind of technique that you use with the Denman brush. This one kind of feeds two birds with one seed, you know? Oh, look at that. See, I've done my edges today and I used one of these and I probably use one of these every single day. So it is 100% an essential for me as a curly girl. This is an edge brush with a comb on the end. Sometimes you see them where it's like the brush and then the comb on this side right there. But yes, this one has got it op opposite ends. Oh my gosh, I dropped it. And so it's just really easy to use. I literally use them all the time. If I'm just going out, popping to the shops, running some errands and I just throw my hair into a bun and like my edges and my wispy bits are just going crazy, especially in the wind. I just put some edge products on here and just sweep down my fluffy flyaways and sweep down my edges and I'm good to go. This is a lifesaver. This one is actually by Lee Stafford, but for a long time I was using get the pack of like six that you can just buy on Amazon, multicolored ones. So I had like a pink one, a blue one, a yellow one, a black one. They're just so good. The cheaper ones do snap though. They're usually all kind of the same. So you just want to find one where the bristles are quite firm so that they can really just push down those edges. And for the comb side, you just want to make sure that the teeth are really close together. And that's just because with your edges, you're going to be working with really fine, really sparse hair a lot of the time. And if the teeth are too far apart, it actually just won't catch the hairs and you'll have a hard time kind of laying them down and parting them the way you want to. That's what makes a good edge brush and comb. Okay, next comb. I talk about it all the time. It's my pintail comb. I know that it's quite commonly called a rat tail comb. I just feel like a pintail comb sounds nicer and it's just really accurate because it is kind of a pin, but it's like the same thing. Like if you go on Amazon and search pintail comb or rat tail comb, the same thing will come up. Just really, really great at parting your hair. If you're doing braids or anything like that, especially if you want to get really neat straight lines. Like if I wanted to, I could just go like this. You see what I mean? 
absolutely essential for curly hair styling. Next comb, well, it's a comb depending what you call it. See, I grew up calling this an afro comb. Some people could just call it a pick or like an afro pick or just a hair pick. And this is really great for getting into your hair and volumizing it. I love volume, so I'm gonna do it today. Ooh, I feel like it's working already. And not only that, but this is also a great detangler as well. This one, again, by Amazon, everything you can find on Amazon. Are you guys sick of seeing combs and brushes? I've got one more that I wanna show you and then we're done with combs and brushes. This is this little, I don't even know if you could call this a brush. Is it a brush? I don't think it is a brush. This one that I have right here is by Coco and Eve and I'm not sure if this specific one is on Amazon, but you can definitely find very similar ones. So this is like a scalp massager that you use when you're shampooing your hair and it really helps to get into your scalp and really lift off any dirt and build up and grease off of your scalp so that you get a perfect squeaky clean finish after your shampoo. If I'm only gonna wash my hair once a week, I wanna make sure that it's a good thorough cleanse. And this does so well at that. It's so important for everyone to have that clean finish with their scalp because if you have a clogged, blocked scalp, that can really inhibit hair growth. And I know a lot of us really, really care about hair growth. So if you want to grow your hair and you wanna have healthy, thriving curly hair, you gotta have a healthy scalp and a healthy scalp is a clean scalp. So we are definitely done with brushes and combs right now. We can look at some other hairstyling tools and hairstyling essentials, especially for curly hair. So you guys know that I love styling my hair in 10,000 different ways. And one of the ways that I've been absolutely obsessed with the last year or so, last couple of years, is claw clips. I have so many different types and so many different colors. So yesterday I kind of just did like this and that was so easy and so quick. You know, my hair didn't need separating or anything. And then you just take it down and your hair really hasn't been like straight out or ruined or anything. One of my favorite hairstyles, grab one of these and it's just so quick and I love these so much. Next for hairstyling is mini elastics. I know that these are a bit like Marmite, they're a bit love and hate. Some people absolutely roast me whenever I use mini elastics in any of my videos. Like you guys are always saying that they're so damaging, they get tangled and stuck in your hair and that is true. They really can be hell sometimes but you can create some really cute hairstyles with them. So I do have them, I do reach for them quite often and I am gonna put them in the curly hair essentials list. All right, something that's a bit healthier for curly hair next, ta-da! It's a little micro fiber carbon towel kind of thing. It's one of these microfiber towels that you can wrap it around your head. This one is actually by T3 and it's so lovely and soft and it's so gentle on my hair. I just love this, especially for plopping my hair because I like to dry my hair this way. I don't really like to dry my hair upside down. I feel like this is not really the way you're supposed to do it, but it's the way I like to do it. Bear in mind, my hair will be wet when I do this and I will kind of put it in here. It's hard to show you when my hair is dry because it really doesn't behave the same way. Way. It's basically plopping, like it's not all just straight. And I just kind of bring it up here like this. So yeah, that's how I like to dry my hair. And it works really well. But the main point here is that it's a microfiber towel, which is so much gentler on your hair than a regular terry cloth fiber towel. I love a terry cloth fiber towel for like after bath time, after shower time, because it's so soft and fluffy. But that is just not good for your hair. That will turn your hair frizzy. Next for curly girls is a shower cap. I remember that I used to be embarrassed to tell people that I only washed my hair once a week because I thought that they would think that I only showered once a week. But basically, I shower every day, but I only wash my hair once a week. So what do I do with my hair on all of those days where I'm not washing it? I don't want it to get wet because that will kind of ruin the curls. Also, if I'm taking a very hot shower, then that steam can really interfere with my definition. So I like to use a shower cap. And this one specifically is by Flora and Curl. But these are all over Amazon and I'll link some of my favorites in the description box. But this side is uh, waterproof. And this side has that lovely microfiber that's really gentle on my hair. So if I'm just in the shower and I don't want my hair to get wet, then I'll have it like this on my head. But this is actually double function. So if I am doing a deep conditioning treatment and I kind of want like a plastic cap or something to keep the moisture in my head and just level up the nourishment that I'm getting from my deep conditioning treatment, then I will flip it the other way and I will wear it like this because now this plastic layer 
is gonna be acting as kind of like a plastic cap for a deep conditioning treatment. And the best thing about this is that it's so durable and long lasting, so I'm not having to constantly be using, you know, throw away one use only plastic caps. You know, I've used this so many times and it's still good as new. So hopefully you can find this one on Amazon. If not, I'll try to find some other ones, but I just really believe in buying really good long lasting things rather than just buying like things that are gonna contribute to waste. Let's go back to styling for a minute. One of my favorite all time absolutely is essential styling products for curly hair is a Mr. Spray Bottle. That sounds like I'm saying Miss. Hey Mr. Spray Bottle. No, Mr. When it sprays it creates a mist rather than just like a jet of water or you know some of these spray bottles they really just spit water at you and it's not very evenly dispersed and sometimes it can make your hair more wet than you wanted and all of that. This is just a very controlled way of misting your hair and it's so even. It's like air and it can keep going and that is really really great for hairstyling okay another little styling item but it's the flexi rods i did mention that these flexi rods that i used in my last video are actually from primark and they're called bendy rollers in primark and this pack of six in there is one pound fifty which i think is just incredibly cheap so if you guys do live close by to a primark i would recommend going in there but i know that a lot of you guys don't so i will leave some flexi rods linked for Amazon in my description box down below. The reason why I have put flexi rods as a curly hair essential is because sometimes we curly girls, we wanna play with textures and we wanna play with styles and we might reach for the straighteners, we might reach for the curling tongs. So how can we, you know, have this fun playtime with our hair without using heat? Well, with things like flexi rollers, heatless curls. They're the most versatile, they're the most easy to use. If having these in your inventory is gonna stop you from reaching for a heat tool then they're essential okay the next thing i want to talk about is probably my most favorite thing in my entire hair care collection and that is my dyson supersonic hair dryer this is the dyson supersonic and this is the diffuser attachment okay i have mine in the classic charcoal gray and fuchsia color so many curly girls on youtube have this and I was just so happy when I became part of the gang. So I was actually working with Dyson and QVC. So I was on the QVC shopping channel. I would go down to their studios and I would get, you know, hair and makeup done. And I would sit there and I would show them on TV how to use the Dyson. And that was just a really fun time. But yeah, they gifted me a Dyson. This has been an absolute game changer. I genuinely use this every single time I wash my hair. I think one of the things to notice is that when you actually look at the diffuser attachment, it has so many many holes they're really tiny little holes and that means that it's dispersing the air over a very wide and even area sometimes you see diffuser attachments and they only have maybe 10 or 20 different holes which means that through every hole the air is going to be stronger it's going to be faster and you're just not getting a very even coverage of airflow okay i will leave that link where you can get it on amazon but i also want to show you an alternative as well so this right here is my little pack of soft bonnets is my GHD hair straight hair straightener when I say GHD my brain says hair straightener GHD hair dryer so this will grip onto there like this voila and this is basically a soft portable fold away version of a hooded dryer so you pop this onto your head and your hair will be nice and dry the next thing is so important i can't even believe i've left it till last it's a satin pillowcase these are so important not only for your hair but also for your skin so when it comes to skin these can help to prevent wrinkles because your face just slides on it it stops your face from being like like this is more likely just to glide on your face and you won't get wrinkles. It can prevent acne because it doesn't irritate your skin. But when it comes to hair care, it's just amazing because they're so soft. It doesn't cause frizz for your curly hair. It doesn't cause breakage. Whereas something like cotton actually will pull moisture out of your hair and it will leave your hair feeling dry. And I do use satin instead of silk because firstly, silk is not vegan and satin is a lot more affordable as well. So I just love my satin pillowcases. I will link these in the description box down below. These ones are from Amazon so you guys will be able to have the same satin pillowcases as me and be twinning with me oh my gosh it's so soft I don't want to stop touching it I also want to give a quick honorable mention 
two bobby pins because I use them all the time in curly hair styling, especially if I don't want to be using hair ties or anything. If I want to, you know, create a hairstyle that solely relies on pins like space buns or, you know, other kinds of buns where it just really works with pins. I just use them all the time. And for some reason, I can't find any today. <laughs> we'll link some of those in the description box down below. They are so useful to curly hair styling. So guys, there you have it. Those are my curly hair essentials. They're these things that every curly headed person needs. And hopefully you guys saw something there that was interesting and maybe you could add it to your kit. And if you do use my links that I include in the description box down below, I do receive a small amount of affiliate income. It's like literally tiny, so, so tiny, but it really helps out a lot if you guys do decide to buy anything that you see in this video if you click my links. I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe, turn on your notifications, all of that good stuff. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.